Hello, this is Clarence and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do an unboxing and a quick review of the Digi Wireless Microphone. I'll let you know why I bought it, is it a good mic, and is it worth the price? And should you buy it? So let's not waste any time. Let's get to it right now. Okay, so I'm about to unbox it. And just from the manufacturer's point of view, they have exceptional dual channel recording. They have long range wireless transmissions. It's compact, it's portable, it's easy to wear and also has fast compatibility. This receiver has a USB to C lightning cable and 3.5 millimeter TRS ports, making it compatible with mainstream smartphones, cameras, and laptop brands. So let's find out what's going on with this wireless mic. Let's go ahead and open up the box. Okay, let's, okay. So a nice little white box, white and black box. Oops, so broke it already. This comes in a nice little package here. I guess I can put that back in. I want to... Okay, so here we got the box. We have the case. Hmm. Okay, cool. <laughs> we got this one case, and then we have another case. Okay, it's got. The, the TRS, the USB-C cable, and okay, it's got the instructions. All this other little crap. Oh, there it is. Okay, they've got two of them. Awesome. So there you have it. Here you go briefly explain what I know. So let's go ahead and move over to part two. Hello and welcome to part two. So the ultimate question is, why did I buy the DJI wireless mic? Well, first of all, I was using a power device lavalier mic and it is wired, um, but it's limited in its uses. Didn't have a lot of versatility. And granted, I only paid $37 for it on Amazon. And at the time, I needed something that I could afford. But now it's time to move on. So I needed an upgrade where I can create excellent YouTube videos with great audio. And it's to attract new subscribers and to take it to the next level. So I was looking on YouTube to see if I can find a better microphone in the area of a wireless solution for my videos, and it took a few days to decide. After reading and watching many reviews, it was going to be either the Rode Go 2 or the DJI wireless mic. The Rode is about $240 and the DJI is about $340. So I decided to go with the DJI, and I was going to get it off Amazon, but I looked at the shipping and it took too long. So I opted to go to the DJI site um, and it was much faster shipping, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and move over to part three. Um, so I will give you my thoughts on a couple of issues that I came up with. Um, the Digi has a little screen and I mean, a little screen and I mean it has all the information that you need to set up and so forth and when I first powered it on I was trying to navigate through it and accidentally press the Japanese button for the language I don't speak Japanese right I spent a few minutes trying to figure out how to switch to English and I guess uh, once you get familiar with the settings you'll be fine like linking the transmitters with the receiver is real simple. Just put the devices back into the charging case and voila, everything is connected. Um, but I wanna give a shout out to Jevin Dovey who gave a pretty good uh, thorough walkthrough of the DG wireless mic. 
I'll put a link down below. And um, I took some notes to get me started and now I can finish this video. In this part three though, the audio that you've been hearing is coming from the Digi. Um, but before that was a power device or the mic from the iPhone. And I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference between which one sounds better to you. So why should you buy the Digi wireless mic? Well, after taking time to figure things out, I must say that I do like the Digi wireless mic. And one item that you'll like is being able to move around. Like when I went from part one to part two and then from part two to part three. And also the sound quality is better than my previous lavalier mic. And also you'll have more control over the audio. And if you feel the settings are too low or too high, you can change those in the settings portion of the, um, the receiver. And um, you, you can also save another version of the audio to the transmitter in case you uh, mess up an audio some kind of way. And it'll record it at a negative six dBs. And, and then you can also record in mono or stereo. And the battery life is excellent. You get 15 hours. Um, you also get two transmitters, two mics. So now two people can talk in the same video now there's more information that I would like to leave you, but I thought that I'd just give you what I have right now. And uh, since I've only been doing this for a couple of days now, but in the future, I think I'll go into more detail and um, I'll get more in depth into explaining the uh, features of this DG wireless mic.